Some lovely customer friends from New York wanted to come to the studio in Hackney, but it worked out more fun to meet them at Coworth Park. I got there before the sun and watched it warm the sculptures. Red Scarf's golden wave said hello first. As light travelled down the work, its toes were last to be warmed, while Whisper's toes, high in the blue sky, were first. Normally I take a critical view of my work, but that morning the trees were there. It was like they had let my sculptures in. They were there together, in the landscape, hanging out, being awesome. Behind every piece there was a tree telling me to see the truth, telling me that this was something special going on. I became sympathetic. I met my work like old friends, hanging out in my own sculpture park. Nature has always been in my work, but moving to Wales it seems it got more into my bones. Drawing in the life room became leaves and boulders, not arms and torsos. This autumn seems more vivid, more incredible. It can't be that I miss nature in Hackney. Because of Molly we live looking out onto plane trees changing colour. Black trunks and wiggly twigs hold dangling baubles throughout winter, and then what seems like minutes later tiny lean, lime green eyes appear in every twig. A relentless greening follows. A thickening makes the long, low setting sun dapple its way into the flat. Autumn and big leaves drop surprisingly early, making noisy feet and... That leaf. No, I need this one. Armfuls of leaves end up at the studio. The wind gets cooler again. The scarves go on, but still the incredible leaves are filling London fields. They're filling my studio, leaping onto my sculpture. Now, I can't say I'm not aware of nature in London, but going out to meet the free trees, as I call them, I'm slightly overwhelmed. My magnificent plane trees counterparts are set against mountains and rivers and meadows and never-ending winding walls and deep red-purple ploughed fields and blue skies and black clouds. Just standing there, being awesome. In a mixed exhibition, sometimes my work can seem a bit quiet. The slim drawings can't c compete with more solid, fuller or louder works. But maybe that's just me. I always have a lot to say, so not quite quiet at all, in fact. But in my work, I sit in my landscape. I disappear into the trees. And leaves have their time, and they are returned to the earth. My customers visit, the trees and the landscape of Coworth Park, the sun rising and revealing each sculpture. They showed me that my work was part of its landscape and that that's a good thing. Not everyone needs to shout. Thank you, trees. Let's hope I remember.